In the middle of the night, Bei Sok Ryu came out of her house. She wore a hoodie. Choi Sung Hyo, who was walking in front of his house, saw her. He asked, Where are you going in this late night? Bei Sok Ryu responded, I think I just heard a dog barking. She kept walking, ignoring Choi Sung Hyo. Choi Sung Hyo asked her again, Didn't you watch the news? This world is dangerous. Bei Sok Ryu said to herself, who watched the local broadcast. It's disturbing the neighborhood. Choi Sung Hyo said, All right, just do as you please. He then entered his house and slammed the fence. Bei Sok Ryu kept walking on an empty street. No one was there and all shops were already closed. Suddenly, she felt someone following her. Bei Sok Ryu quickened her pace. The one who followed her also did the same. Bei Sok Ryu ended up running. When she met a dead end, she stopped and looked back. Turned out, the one who followed her was Choi Sung Hyo. Bei Sok Ryu shouted, Are you crazy? You scared me. Choi Sung Hyo said, Be quiet. It's a residential area. Bei Sok Ryu asked, That's not important right now. Why are you following me and scaring me? Choi Sung Hyo asked her back, Then why did you suddenly run? Bei Sok Ryu answered, That's because I think there's someone following me. You should have just called me. Choi Sung Hyo said, You should have looked back and checked who followed you. Bei Sok Ryu argued, No, you should have just called my name and made me feel safe. Choi Sung Hyo said, You should have checked before running recklessly like that. Bei Sok Ryu caught her breath and just glared at Choi Sung Hyo. Choi Sung Hyo sighed. He said, I think this is our problem. He meant that they lacked communication. TVN released some pre released photos of Bei Sok Ryu and Choi Sung Hyo. The first photo shows them riding a bicycle together. Both of them wore a formal outfit. Bei Sok Ryu wore a broken white colored dress and Choi Sung Hyo wore an all black outfit. The second and third photos show Bei Sok Ryu and Choi Sung Hyo looking at each other with annoyed faces. What happened to them? Why do they ride a bicycle with formal clothes?